Welcome to this demonstration of Podio. Um, I'm going to kind of go over all the basics of it and what I can possibly set up for you. Um, so basically here you would sign up with Podio, you'd get your login information. As soon as you log into the Podio account, you're going to be on a blank workspace. So it's only going to show basic activity that's gone on. So the first thing you're going to want to do, or we can do this for you, is set up your workspace. When you come in, you'll see your company name, and it will either have an employee network or it may say demo network. What you want to do is hit create a workspace to create one. And once you create a workspace, you'll have activity, and it will say add app. None of these other things will be up here. These are all created by you or by us for you. So these are all individual based off of what you need for your business. So when you first come into your workspace, at the top here you have your members, whoever you have attached to your workspace that can do any modifications or, or view things. You can invite people to the workspace just by clicking here and inviting them. Underneath this is going to be all the most recent activity in your account. And then you have your tasks over here. So the tasks help you see exactly what needs to be done when in the process of from the lead to closing the deal. You have several other different things you can add on here. So you can add multiple different types of reports depending on what you want on your home page. So the two main things that you're going to be dealing with is having your seller leads and having your buyers. So um, basically I'm going to just click on this lease purchase one. And what we do is we use our Google form for our leads, and then that automatically uploads into the Podio for you. Upon uploading into Podio, it's going to have all the information and we also set it up so that Zillow information is pulled. So you'll have the tax assessment amount, last sold date, sold price, that sort of thing. Whatever it can pull from Zillow will show up here on the right. Now this is not automatic. This is manually set up. This is something that I set up for people in their Podio account. So this doesn't just come with Podio. These are things that are set up separately. So the lead is in here. Um, it's all customizable as far as what fields you want in order to keep track of everything to do with your lead. You can also have different tasks created. So there can be a task created when a new lead comes in to let you know that. You can have emails going out or tasks created depending on the status. Let's say you have an appointment set. Therefore, you can have an email as soon as you click that and have an appointment in here. Then we can have a workflow set up so that it emails the seller to confirm for that appointment. So everything is customizable as far as what things you want done, when you want it notified. And you could put in an appointment time in here, and we can have it set change or have it automatically change this to appointment set because you put the appointment time in. Or if you put in a follow up date, then the status automatically changed to follow up schedule. You know, whatever you want for your customizing, we can do for the workflows to make this process smoother for you. Now, another thing you'll notice is on the bottom of any lead, whether it be buyer, seller, or any of the applications, at the bottom of all of them, we'll always have a files and tasks. Now, the files part is where you can upload your contract. The VA can upload the lead sheet so that the PDF lead sheet is in here. Um, but you can upload the contract. If you get any inspections done, you can upload the inspections. Any files associated to this property, you can easily just drag and drop to upload in here. If you want to set yourself or somebody else up a task, um, 
to call on this one or to check something on it, um, you can just hit Add Task. You give it a name. You choose the person you want to assign the task to. You choose a date, a due date for that task. And it's automatically going to be associated to this particular lead because you're in the lead clicking Add Task. You can put additional information about it, and then you hit Create Task. At that point, the task will be listed here. You always want to make sure when a task is finished that it's checked off. One of the nice things is on the activity page is going to be the task. And you can just click off, check, check the box in order to check off the task. You don't have to necessarily go to that file unless you're already in that file. Now, if I go over here to buyers, and I've got a buyer in here, it'll have the information, um, what kind of down payment, monthly payment, price range house, how they rate their credit. It'll have all that information in here. But then I can associate this particular buyer to a property on my seller's list. So I can just click this, and let's say I want to click all the leads I have, all the sellers I have listed in my system. And then I can go back over to that seller lead that I was looking at a little while ago. And on the very bottom of it, it's going to show that I have one buyer associated. So they can be linked together. And I can just click right here, and it will take me straight to that buyer page. So everything can be linked to each other through here. And everything can be customized through here. Now you also have different views here on the left hand side. So you can change up these views. Now let's say I had a whole bunch of leads in here. I've only got two. But let's say I had more than two leads in here then I can go ahead and modify, okay, I want to see just the ones that are three bedrooms. Maybe I have some threes, fours, and fives. I would just click on three, and it would show me the three-bedroom ones. Um, so basically, you can narrow down your search results here through these different views, or you can use your filter here at the top and adjust views that way as well. You can adjust which columns you want to see on this page. You can adjust how you want it sorted out on this page. Or you can click on a header column, and it will automatically sort that column anyway, or sort everything by that column. So everything is completely customizable in here. These um, templates, basically, these applications, can all also be forms, web forms. So you can actually have one that is friendly for a seller to fill out themselves and then put that link on your website. And then they can fill it out and it automatically go in here. So all that is possible too. Anytime changes need to be made, it would just be this little wrench right here. And modifying the template is the template of all the questions. Then you have your application settings, which is for the entire application. The layout of the page, how you want it to look on here, whether you want as badge, which is just um, boxes of it, or if you want a table view. So the entire layout of it. These workflows are not going to do very much for you. The Manage and Globaflow workflows is what is going to pull the information from Zillow, be able to send emails out, be able to customize everything that you're doing in your workflow system. So that's the most important part. Um, really, most of these other things you would need, but you can go ahead and import or export information if you're using another CRM system and you want to upload the information into here, you can do an import that way. Um, so you can link things together that way. 
So that's about it for this. Um, if you have questions, obviously just let me know. I'm here to help and co- totally customize this however you want and make it work best for your business. Thank you.